Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to another episode of Fatal Frame or Project Zero Maiden of Blackwater. Do not look too close at that picture because it will be spoilers. We are on the 8th drop, Ren Hojo, keep watch. Miu and Yuri slept after returning from Mount Hakami. Learning that Haruka has been taken by a ghost, Ren and Rui keep a watchful eye on the girls to prevent it happening again. Eighth drop, the witching hour, Ren Hojo. When Yuri returns from Mount Hakami's summit, she quickly collapses from exhaustion. Meanwhile, Miu is also in an unnaturally deep slumber. Worried that some unwanted visitors may be on their way, Ren and his assistant, Rui, decide to watch over the girls through the shop surveillance system. Cause that's not creepy. I guess it's better than being in their room with them. No, you know what? It really isn't. One should just each take a room. There's two girls. There's two people watchful. The surveillance cameras seem to be working. Now we can see if anything comes to pay us a visit. Are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry. Oh. Rui seems to be unconscious, or maybe just asleep. I wonder what's what that rumbling was. Something must be happening on the mountain. Yuri and Mew have both been affected by the noise. I should make sure that they're okay. Ugh. Ugh. Objective has been set. Check the surveillance. Haruka Momose, the, gr the girl Yuri saved, was led away by the ghost of a girl who killed herself. Someone, something might have come again. I need to check the surveillance camera feeds to see if the girls are okay. I have to check if Yuri and Mio are okay. Surveillance camera feed will switch between cameras automatically. Press B to get up. Alright. They both seem to be fine, but I should keep checking on them every now and then just to be sure. They've been acting strange since the ominous rumble. What's happening on the mountain? I should look into the mountain's history. They must have some books about it here. Um, on the shelves? I found a book titled Local Customs. It seems to be a, about the customs in the area around Mount Hakami. Mikimori. In the area around Mount Hakami, there is a custom of receiving water from the mountain. The people call it Mikomori, and it is placed in casks to bring into their homes, used only for the special ceremonies. It is used to give a newborn its first bath, or to cleanse the body of the dead. This stems from the belief that the soul comes from the water and returns to it in death. Another use for this water is known as the cry of the mountain. According to an old woman in the village, there is a saying, when Hikami lets out a cry, one must wash in Mikomori. When Mount Hikami cries out or rumbles, one ritual immerses oneself or otherwise wets oneself with water. The custom likely comes from the mountain's sound being a bad omen and they use the pure water as a sort of ward. 
but when the water dries, your daughters may be gone. Do not go and search when the mountain is awake. This must refer to girls being taken to the mountain after the ward has worn off, an explanation for the number of girls going missing in the area. What? Wait, where's the other one? Am I looking at this? No, it's right here. It's a book about local folk antidotes. Antido antidotes. The Mikomori region has many antidotes, antidotes regarding the act of photographing the dead. Many are simple superstitions, but some allow us to glimpse into the customs of another time. These stories show both great understanding and great fear. Vanishing. A man showed a photograph to a friend. The picture showed the faint silhouette of a person. Upon seeing the silhouette, the man cried out and ran, leaving the photo where it was. Each time the man looked at the photo, the silhouette grew more and more distinct. It was his friend. It is said that his friend disappeared after that. The photo bride. A local fool suddenly declared that he had married. The village threw a celebration, but no one had seen the bride. Someone went to the man's house and could hear the sounds of a woman talking within. However, looking inside, he saw only the man from behind, with no sign of a woman. Days passed, and the man hasn't left his house, so one of the villagers went to check on him. There was no one in the house, only an old photograph left behind. In the photo was a bride hiding her face, and the missing man was at her side. The man who saw the photo said the bride appeared to be smiling. I really need to investigate Mount Hakami and find out what's going on there. Uh, continue surveillance. Whoa! For you, he. you he what do you want with my girls where are you I don't appreciate you coming into this house Miss Ghosty. Whew. Seriously, this is not funny. <gasps> There's a static in the feed from Yuri's room. I'd better go check it out. Press B to stop watching the feed and get up. If something strange happens on the camera, get up and investigate it. Thank you for telling us that. All right. We're coming, Yuri. We are coming, my dearest. Ugh. No. No. 
Because you're in Fuse's room. I feel he. Whew. That was uh. Oh yeah, I forgot that I have uh the. I always forget that. Yuri's notebook. It seems she's written in it like a diary. When my heart gets weak, I can't even breathe. It takes all my strength just to breathe. All I can do is take the breath and then hope to take another. I grow exhausted and spend all my strength just to live. I'm aware of death and I see. People whispering, people with broken faces, people with ruined bodies, people who stare at me from bloody sockets, people crying endlessly. All I can do is close my eyes, cover my ears and wait for the moment to pass. They're always watching me. They say I don't belong here. It should have gotten better. I should have gotten better. Wow. I was like, oh shit, do I have another... She seems to be having a nightmare, but is otherwise okay. Ah! What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ balls. What? I'm gonna have to see what that. Continue surveillance. Yes, we will, but holy crap. You can look down on the shop from here. Okay. What the crap just fell?
What? 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 That was Haruka. What? Haruka? Haruka? Where are you, Haruka? Ugh! She's on Miu. Mew, we're coming. What? Whoop. No, hey. That's not fair. You can't touch me there. There's a wet note left atop the bed. Once the sunset reaches here, the end won't be far off. After that, the mountains will let out a mighty roar and everything will overflow. It will overflow and everyone will end together. It'll be good. It'll be over. Since it'll be over, I came to see everyone so that we could die properly before the end comes. There's a bed in the middle of what looks like a storeroom. There's no trace of dust. It must be get cleaned regularly. Alright. Is me upstairs? You come out here this instant. You don't shut your... Don't... <laughs> Everything seems normal. Maybe it was just the static. I guess Ren... Ren can't see. Why are you not working? This is a book by the folklorist Keiji Watari. Mount Hakami's sunsets, the rumbling. Maybe there's some clue in here. Mount Hakami's name is thought to mean mountain that climbs higher than the sun. Some post, some post it that was, some, some posit that it was once written in a way that means mountain of the sun gods, but that is from far from certain. What is certain is that many tales about the sunset will persist to this day. People must only climb the mountain as the sun is setting. This likely comes from the local ceremony where those going to the mountain to greet their deaths would go at sunset, when the netherworld was said to be closest to ours. One mustn't look at the mountain at sunset. You must stay inside when the mountain cries. The dark sun was a god of misfortune and calamity. The setting sun over Mount Hakami was said to be an omen of the dark of this dark sun, drawing people into their doom. As for the cry, tremors are often seen as a portrait a portent of calamity. On Mount Hakami, it was thought that it was wa the water rumbling, and it is said that if you could hear it, you were eligible to become a shrine maiden. Other sources say that locals washed in special water when these tremors happened. She seems to be having a nightmare, but is otherwise okay. Continue surveillance. I can't believe I missed that picture of Haruka.
Why is the TV on? Why is the TV on? Hmm? There's nothing but static on the screen. I should probably switch the TV off. Where are you, Haruka? No, we can't help you, not when you're like that. Oopsies. Finally remember to use it. That was a lucky shot. She's on the last of it. No! There we go. No! I thought I got her! That is my favorite episode, by the way. Notes updated. Are you okay, Ri? Can't touch you? You guys are everywhere, just checking out the merchandise, aren't you?
Those were non-paying customers. Did it did do. This feels like five nights at Freddy's. Oh, shrine maiden. Oh. <laughs> what? Rui's gone. Wait, where? Rui must have woken up. Alright, let's get out of here. We got some dancing shrine maiden. Well, she was dancing in the garden. Ugh! Re! Scared the crap out of me. Look where we are, though. You guys should recognize this place. Yep, we are in the Veiled House. Oh, I don't actually know if I have any camera on. Ugh! I took a picture of Rui. Oh, my friend! Dragged man. Oh, shit. That's not a fun way to go. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Thick boards have been nailed to the windows, and impo it's impossible to see what's going on outside. And yet, somebody left the TV on still. There are teacups and a tobacco tray upon a dusty table. Come on, I'm wondering what's wrong with my, uh... R1. Nothing. Won't open. The household altar has been enshrined at the top of the wall. The wood in this room is blackened and gives off an odd smell. It's like rotting. Ah, oh, we've already read that. Three. Wait. Three's notes have fallen on the floor. What could this mean? Mr. Hojo is captivated by the woman in the photograph. He's never been good with women, but he's starting to change. I can't do anything about it. He's changing. I'd like to keep things between us just as they are. The relationship we have now. I like the ambiguity, but he doesn't, but he's going to decide sooner or later. I wonder, which will he choose? Oh, Ri. Adorable, darling Ri. It won't open. Shadow 
in the dark. shelf is piled with more books than it can hold. I can't make out any of the old writings they're written in. Are you all right? I need to go back to Mount Akami. Can you take me there? What? No way. It's too dangerous. Well, if that's your answer, thanks for everything. You don't mind if I borrow this, do you? Maybe I'll be able to find Yuri as well. Hold on, wait. Did he kill her? I'm going. Goodbye. Ren is watching over the sleeping Yuri and Miu on the surveillance cameras, but he passes out. He has a dream where he's chasing after Ri. When he wakes up, both Yuri and Ri are gone. He finds Miu getting ready to leave for Mount Hakami, taking Yuri's camera obscura with her. The door shuts behind Miu, leaving a bewildered Ren behind. What the S rank, eh? I should have, uh... I don't know what I should have done. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching that episode. Uh, we will continue. That was actually one of my favorites. We will continue this very shortly on the next episode. So I hope you guys tune in soon. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.